What is good, Mama Squad? And welcome back to our channel. Please yeah. ignore how crazy I look. I have myself Tanner on. Every freaking video. I just feel what did I say in the last video? Can we replay what I said in the last video? Stop downplaying yourself. I hate when girls do this. I hate when anyone does this. You are freaking beautiful the way you are, bro. You no, know, you said I look good all the time, but I'm just telling them I might look a little rough. You don't have to tell them. You. I look might look a little orange too because I have my self tanner's processing. <laughs> She's wearing self tanner, guys. Yeah, I, get over I'm it. I'm letting it. I'm you letting look it beautiful. Cook off. You it look up. beautiful. That's why I also don't have my ring heat on. But look, it it's in it's here in the spirit, okay? <laughs> Because she doesn't want to get self tanner on it. Yeah. But anyways, good thing you guys are not here for looks. You are here to see the ins and outs of our engagement and to see how everything's going. And to see what our plans are for the wedding. We Is the spark still there? I don't know. That could be one of the questions. Has be has getting engaged spiced it up in the bedroom? Okay, call him <laughs> out. That'll be one of the last questions. <laughs> Stay tuned because we're this video is gonna get juicy whether we like it or not. So we asked you guys on Instagram. That is what is so important for you guys to go follow us on Instagram. Right now, we include you so much in our YouTube videos yes. and we want your help. So if you wanna help us, make sure to follow me and Mariah on Instagram. So yes. whenever we do videos like this, you guys could chime in and we could literally answer your question. For proof, literally, I have so many questions right here. These that are you all guys of our subscribers from our channel. Yes, yeah, so that you guys have been dying to know about our wedding, our engagement, just all the good tea. Good and started. bad. Good and bad, yeah. <laughs> Let's not be totally good. So make sure you give this video a big, big thumbs, thumbs up. up. Make sure you guys go down and hit that subscribe button and join the family. Crazy videos are coming up. And we are on days. the road to 3 million subscribers. Oh! Let's hit it by 2023. Can yes, we do it? Can I do think it. we can. We have yes. a strong Marvel Squad. We do have a strong Marvel Squad. Now let's get right into this video. First question as to why the title is the title that it is. Do we regret getting engaged? No, I don't. I don't. I personally don't. I'm gonna be 25 this year. I'm 24 right now. I've always had a goal to like have kids when I was 25, Millions. but I feel like we're, I'm at the age where I'm ready for the next chapter of my life. For kids? No, for sorry, marriage. <laughs> Marriage. <laughs> but gonna... I don't regret it. I think we've been dating for a really long time that it really does isn't changing really yeah. anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and from my point of view, I don't regret anything. Okay, I don't regret spending the amount of money that I spent going out to Hawaii, putting in all the effort to get engaged. Because like honestly, I felt like we were already engaged. I felt like we were already married, basically. And I still yeah. feel married, even though we're not. So it's just it feels right. I'm the happiest I've ever been, and I've always been dreaming of someone getting down on one knee for me. So it was definitely a really big shock. And it's also shocking that, you know, she found her prince charming. How often do you find a guy that you love and is just stunning? Oh, I just no, took the words right, right no, out of her you mouth. Did, you did, you did. <laughs> I'm kidding. You don't have to agree. Okay, the, to actually talk about the proposal, I got a question that says, Mariah, do you have any idea, like a clue, or was he acting sus? Like, did I feel anything before the actual proposal went down? Can I just say first thing? I'm a good liar. I have a lot of lying in my history. He does. A lot of lying. Good and bad. Good and bad. But the thing is, one thing that I took in away from it is I know how to lie for good reasons. For now. So to answer that question. I truthfully, honestly thought we were going on this Hawaii trip as a brand trip. I thought we were meeting up with a company. A company was flying us down for free to stay at their hotel and like promote their um, small business, whatever. He made it so believable that we were going on this brand trip, okay? I was really out here thinking that. And then when I was there, I was also in my head. I was like, maybe he's gonna do it out here, but I'm like, I'm not gonna get my hopes up because you know, Bill's not gonna be able to plan something like that that quick we literally just found out like a month before we actually decided to go to Hawaii it's also because I've never really done anything like that to this extent and this magnitude so Mariah would have never thought oh I thought Bill you were gonna, do gonna it. plan something this yeah time. I thought you were gonna do it in Florida but what's crazy is the day that we were going to our fake photo shoot because there was a fake there was a photo shoot for the company that they wanted to post on their website that's what I was told and yeah. they told us to wear all white I was texting my twin sister that I'm like oh my god I feel like he's proposing but I'm not gonna get my hopes up, but what if he posted at this photo shoot and Wait, I, do we have those text messages? I do. I'm gonna we pop should them up pop on the them up. Never beforehand seen text messages from the day yeah. of the proposal. I'll get those right here. They're right here, guys. They're right here. And literally in the car, I was gonna film my hand and be like, I feel like my boyfriend's proposing, but I didn't want to have Bill see me and then get his hope. Like if he was didn't actually yeah. propose, I don't know. I, I would have gonna... got super like, yeah, dang, yeah, like, no way she knows. So yes. 
I was like in my suspicious. head suspicious, but at the same time, I kept telling myself no. So in reality, I was genuinely shocked when I saw it because I'm like, whoa, like I don't know how he did this. But to even any extent of suspicion, she had no idea that we were out there because of me and yeah. not because we got an opportunity to fly out there. So yeah. you had no idea. I had no idea. And even when I we were walking out. up, I thought all of those people were from the brand and they were helping <laughs> Bill like plan the special. You didn't see day. the big marry me sign on the No, I did, but I'm just saying when I saw no, I thought the company was helping you set it up no, and no. then when you proceeded to tell me that all of it was fake I, I was so dumbfounded I feel like that's why I didn't like initially ball my eyes out because I was in shock y'all I was in shock I didn't I even remember what we it. said until we saw the video and then I was like oh that makes so much sense but I, it was perfect it was perfect whether or not it was perfect and if you did not go see that video once you're done watching this video make sure yes. to watch our proposal video because it's so beautiful it came together amazingly and I am in love with it <sighs> Just like I'm in love with you. It was the best. I feel like I've always dreamed of just being in Hawaii and I've always dreamed of getting married in Hawaii. So the fact that I actually got a proposal in Hawaii was literally a dream come true and I just love you so much. <laughs> love you. Everyone has been asking this. What is the exact date of the wedding? Unfortunately, I don't want to give it away yet. Yes, we don't want to give it away, but we will tell you that it is going to be in 2024, February. February, February of 2024. So exactly 12 months around this time, sometime this month, we will be getting married. And we should be going to like, we might be filming a video for you guys of our venue to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek. So stay tuned for so that. So stay tuned for that. But yes, it's in February and I don't want to give it's you guys a It's insane that we already have a date then. though. We've been kicking butt on this wedding Oh stuff. my God, I have to go wedding dress shopping tomorrow. Well, you guys, actually the day this is posted, I'm yes. gonna be wedding dress shopping, so wish me luck. Today, the yes. day that you're watching this video, she's gonna be wedding dress shopping. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and if you already are subscribed make sure to have all your post notifications on because we are going to be posting a behind the scenes of her picking out her dress and i am literally like i don't really want to watch that video i feel like i shouldn't watch that video no you shouldn't i don't. promise you Mama he doesn't Squad, edit our videos we have a whole video editor i so. will not watch the next video that mariah does it's gonna well, be her not. wedding dress shopping will the wedding be in florida yes Woo! it'll be in florida florida and i could say it'll be in an amazing oh, area of yes. florida and the venue it's beautiful. is so beautiful. It's got the palm trees that we want. It's got some water view. Oh my God, it is such a dream. I was searching through wedding venues for so long and I found this one. I'm like, oh my God, and the fact is perfect. That is right, literally down the road, basically. Yeah. It's just insane. So <laughs> more information to come. Yes. So the next question is something huge that everybody wants to know, okay? How much was her engagement ring? Now, let me just say it was not cheap and let me also just state the fact that I did not want to buy an expensive ring because I thought Mariah would have hated a cheap ring, which I know she would have loved whatever ring that I wanted because there's so many beautiful rings. <laughs> to sum it all up, Bill went all above and beyond. For me, I just wanted to show her how much I loved her and I could have done that with a, a cheaper ring. I could have done that with a more expensive ring. This is a cheap ring on the side of rings that you can't get. There's yeah. million dollar rings out there that is crazy. But I will say it is between 10 to 40k. Okay. Is that a good? That's a good estimate. 10 to 40k. That's a good estimate. Yeah. yeah. I just I don't want to give the whole ring because like money doesn't matter. It I doesn't really, matter. I, it's all about you know, the moment. I love her and I wanted to show her how much I loved her and to me it just felt right because finding this ring I just I kept going up in budget up in budget. I wanted to make an awesome ring for her I, and I, I think I was genuinely good. shocked. Yeah because we were, we were looking at rings like we were doing like the carrot and stuff and I thought the carrot was gonna be way smaller than what you were gonna get me, which I would have loved. It is not about how much money a ring costs to show someone how much they love you, but I, it just made me feel even more special that you went into it even more than what we talked mm. about. And it just, I don't know, it made me feel so happy. Trust me, it. I literally started with a much smaller ring and you know how like, you know, you, you see stuff and you just go up and up and I think every ring's beautiful. Yeah, I see people every single day with bigger rings, smaller rings, same rings. It just, to me, they all look beautiful yeah, on exactly. fiance's finger yeah, or wife. <laughs> <laughs> so this next question I also want to answer because this is like super super big. Why didn't Bill propose sooner? That is a big question. First thing, a lot of people say and they're wondering like did Mariah push you to propose? Did Mariah, you know, like twist your arm and make you propose? No, like I literally would have been ready to propose for years. So it's not that I wasn't ready to propose. The fact that I just never really just like went out and started planning it. Not because it wasn't the right time. Just because I never just like I, I didn't take the initiative to go do 
it. And it's not that I was sitting on it. I just like, we, there was so much going on in our life. We were moving, coming from Illinois to Florida. We were doing so much stuff that like once we got settled down here, like it just felt like such a more perfect time to propose. And I was supposed to propose sooner. Yeah. I was supposed to propose on December 4th. We were supposed to go to Hawaii December 1st. I was supposed to propose on the 4th, but we got super sick with the flu. I had a 103 degree fever. Mariah had a 99 degree fever. It was bad. It was, it was bad. Terrible. And honestly, I'm really glad we rescheduled that because if I would have known you were going to propose to me there, I would have said, heck no, we're not going. Because we were sick. We had to cancel the trip, the whole trip. Ugh. And I had to do it all without her knowing that I canceled it. And it yeah. was me. So I had to rebook everything twice i had to go back with my manager and try to get her to like you know still believe that the company is able to fly us out but yeah, yeah so the actual date we flew down and proposed december 9th instead of the 4th yeah but it worked out either it way out. It was still, I, it was no, awesome. honestly i feel like you made jan i already had there's already so much going on in december my birthday christmas all the christmas who remembers parties. january that is what i'm saying i don't even know what i did in like, january of 2022 honestly god had us in its path and i just feel like january was a month and now i remember forever now i love january yeah, i don't I know, hate right? january because it's the I'm start saying. of the year and it's the end of the season christmas and everything but like i love january now yeah i love no. it it just feels good it feels nice and it'll be always the month that i proposed in yeah know? exactly it gives us a reason to live it <laughs> does so i'm gonna answer like the generic questions so everyone's asking what is our theme of the wedding are we doing a first look just like the generic questions so the color scheme that we want to do is like the pinks like white Whites, Whites, golds, golds, um, silvers. So like, you see the theme of our house? Just add pink, greenery, and like pastel y yeah. pink. Um, you blush know, stuff like pink. that. Not like, like that's the pink. Blush pink. Like I'm having all my bridesmaids in blush pink. And I kind of want the groomsmen to be in a blush tie. Yeah. Blush pink tie. I think that would look so Yeah, sick. yeah, I think it would look good. Is our wedding going to be at a church or at a venue, inside or outside? Okay. It's going to be at a beautiful venue and it's gonna be outside, it's not gonna be inside. Like the ceremony and the reception is gonna be outside. It's gonna be beautiful. Oh my God, I cannot wait for you guys to see our wedding video and just our whole wedding, oh my gosh. And everyone's asking, are we doing like a first look? So I know some people are like, do your guys' first looks before the actual ceremony because then you get your pictures done. But I personally feel like I've always dreamed of walking down the aisle and having Bill see me for the first time, like walking down the aisle. Yeah. I don't know, that just, I feel like that to me, that's I'm something I've always dreamed of. I'm just picturing the video and I know it's gonna be so emotional either way, but like seeing the first look of her walking down the aisle. And like seeing you for the first time. I oh. promise you looking back at this i'm telling you right now i am going to be crying i'm gonna be <laughs> sobbing i'm literally gonna be tearing up so bad but it's gonna be so beautiful because like i just know that like just thinking about it like just after me filming the ring video yeah. and seeing how emotional i was because i didn't even know how emotional i was gonna be yeah. about this now I know it's gonna be it's gonna be a very emotional walk down that aisle. And I'm so excited. Beautiful at the same time. You know? And everyone was asking like how big our wedding is gonna be. So we do have all of our family lives in Illinois. So I don't really know how many people are actually gonna be coming. We're hoping it's gonna be semi big, but at the same time, like even if it is smaller, we're okay with that yeah. because like then it's intimate and like we have our close family and friends there. But it's still gonna be like we have on our list like over 130 people. Yeah. But like we know like not everyone's gonna be able to come down or some people are gonna be busy I know a lot of our family also like moved out to other states and like I don't know if they're gonna be able to come but like fingers crossed as many of them and as many friends and relatives can come down yes I'm excited and you're also gonna be seeing a lot of other couples that you know from YouTube and social media at our wedding as well yes which we are so grateful for where are you going on your honeymoon oh so, do we, we tell them do we tell them so we oh. really wanted to go to the Maldi Maldives, Maldives. Maldives. I don't know how you say it. But I'm not sure on that one yet because there's a lot that goes into it. Like, so let me a say, lot. it would be a 35 hour travel day. Yeah. Would it be 35 hours or 30? So it, you can get the lowest it would be as travel time would be like 28 hours, but a lot of them's 30 so plus hours. So 30 plus hours of traveling, okay? Just to get to the Maldives. You take like four different planes, super long day. And on top of that, let me tell you, the trip to the Maldives will cost for us as much as we're paying for our wedding. <laughs> because we live in 
Florida and it's a pain in the neck to get around some places to Florida and I'm telling you right now it's just not worth it yeah because like we would fly obviously in first class because like we're on our honeymoon we want to fly first yeah. class we want to have the space the luxury we're happy but it is um, stupid ridiculous guys like I I don't even I can't see myself but even right like uh, getting past the the cost of the Maldives like I don't know 30 something hours of travel maybe in the future I definitely want to visit there one day yeah but like for at least right now like I think we're so comfortable with going to I it. did find something actually what very similar that my older sister sent me and I have to show you it because it's a lot like the what Maldives I can't tell you I'm not I don't want to tell them yet uh, but if you guys have any recommendations comment them down below because we're all up for recommendations and ideas and thoughts because like we need help we also do live like two hours from the Bahamas yeah the Caribbean so that could be another like big thing that we can like look into because I know a lot of people like going there then I know a lot of people don't like going there so like I don't know at the end of the day we will let you know where we're gonna go yes. but either way it's gonna be so special and oh my gosh it's gonna be beautiful yeah. all right so we're gonna answer two more questions okay and the last question is going to be very juicy it's might might be the one that we asked in the beginning of this video yes. so stay tuned but for this question everybody's asking who is going to be standing up in your wedding and I know we did two videos on it okay with you know the one with her sister then the one with like calling everyone so if you guys but, have not seen those videos, go watch it because everyone's reactions were so cute. You can literally see the reactions and it yeah. was beautiful. But um, let's run through super quick. Who's going to be standing up on your side? Okay. So I have Julia, which is my best friend. Anna, another one of my best friends. My twin sister, Megan. My friend, Esmeralda. And then my older sister, Ashley. And then his two sisters, Brittany and Bree. And then I have my junior bridesmaid, which is my little sister, Cassie, Trista, and Alyssa. Trista and Alyssa. Yeah, so that's all the girls that I have. So in total, she's gonna have seven people standing up and the rest of the juniors are gonna be sitting down. Her maid of honor is gonna be her twin sister. Yes, Megan. Megan, though. So that's who's gonna be like right next to her. So on my side of things, they're gonna be my friend Jordan and he's gonna be my best man. We're gonna have Brandon, my brother, in law Ted, which dates my older sister, Anthony, which is from Anna and Anthony, Saud from Jules and Saud, and my friend Mark. So that's gonna be six. And I'm also gonna have her little brother stand up for me, which is Jake. He's gonna be the junior groomsman. Jun junior groomsman, but he's gonna stand up, so it yeah. makes it even seven and seven on each side. Yeah. We got a lot of people we up here. We do have a lot of people like, up guys, there. That's not even including whoever's sitting in the oh audience. Oh my god, that's a lot. Jeez. <laughs> All right, last and final question. This is like one of our most asked questions too. I know, you guys are crazy. <laughs> it is, has things gone spicier in the bedroom since you guys got engaged? I will say yes, but I will say no because I feel like I feel like being engaged and being boyfriend and girlfriend didn't change our time in the bedroom. Right. Like it's always been good. All right, does you it, know? you know, the week of getting engaged, maybe. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Okay, that's a lot. Um, yeah. But like I said, we've been like, what? Feeling like we've been engaged and married for, for six years now. Six years will be in March. Well, not six years, but it's, it's felt like that for like two or three. Yeah. So I would say like, you know, it's it's still staying the awesome level that it's always been. And yeah, that's all I'm going to say it's about it. <laughs> I don't want to dig too deep. But you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, we appreciate all of your support across all of our channels. And get ready because these videos coming up are ones you're not going to want to miss. I'm so Get excited. Get ready for her wedding shopping. <laughs> coming up, we are literally doing it today. Yep. So DM her on Instagram. Maybe Wish you me can luck. Get a sneak peek. Oh, I'm going to be posting. If I say yes to the dress, I'm going to be posting an Instagram photo saying, I said yes to the dress. Today? Probably tomorrow morning. Tomorrow. Yeah. So depending on when you're watching this video, go follow us on Instagram right now and see if she posted. Oh my gosh. Yes to the dress? <laughs> Gonna be crazy. That's gonna be insane. Once yep. we have the dress, we already have the venue. Now all we need to do is get married. Yep. Well, we appreciate you guys watching this video. We will see you in the next one. But, but until, until then, then, peace. I love, love you guys. guys.